Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, I'm going to unbox Rommel's War from Derek Croxton and Worthington Games. All right, two things before we begin. First off, this review copy was provided by Worthington. Secondly, if you're watching this recon either the day it's published or within about a week, Rommel's War is currently on Kickstarter. I will have a link in the description of the video, or you can just go to Kickstarter and search for Rommel's War. All right, so this game was designed by Derek Croxton. Um, he did Archie's War, Battle of Guadalcanal, which I covered on my channel and I really enjoyed. Um, this one, uh, when I saw, when I heard from Worthington that they uh, were putting this one on Kickstarter, I would definitely was very interested, especially coming from, again, Derek Croxton, knowing that I really liked Archie's War. Let's look at the back of the box here. You can see our um, wind cubes up there. I'm sorry. Um, yep. You can see the map, which we're going to get out and look at. Rommel's War is a game about the first year of the war in the desert from April of 1941 to January of 42. One player takes the role of Rommel in command of Axis forces. Another player takes the role of the British commanders. So I do know that there is a sort of solitaire cheat sheet that comes with the game. So although it's designed as a two player game, it does have um, some solitaire aspects, which obviously I will be exploring. All right, love the cover by the way. Nice, thick, sturdy box. Looks very nice. Of course, expect that from Worthington. Here's a couple. So I know, and this is what I had seen. So, and you get two copies by the way. So you get two copies of the rule book and you get two copies of the player aid. Only Worthington does stuff like this. Like, how cool is that? So, um, you know, playing solitaire, you only need one, but hey, you got an, if you're playing two player, you got an extra, you can, any other guy, or you can try to teach someone, you can pass it around. Um, these little player aids are the same. Um, so one side is solo rules, one side is just a regular player aid. So what we're looking at here, um, and let's look at the regular rule book first, and we'll glance at the solo rules. Rommel's War. You can see full color rule book, and it is not, I can already tell it is a it is a light rule book. Not a whole lot of pages here, full color. We have examples describing, let's see, so we describe our units here, initiative cards. Okay, so you get to do, each player has his, his own deck of 10 initiative cards. We'll draw one at the start of each of his turns. They allow a player to perform additional movement or add points to a combat. So I imagine it'd be maybe extra or uh, random, I should say. Sequence play here. Receive reinforcements, draw an initiative card, make two moves and resolve combat. End phase, recovery and resolve supply. Nice and simple. Nice large text in here. Recovery, let's see how to move, combat and retreat. Again, there's notes and then there's examples highlighted throughout. And basically that's it, seven pages of rules. Less than seven pages, basically, of rules. Very nice. Bunch of designer notes at the end. So you see Solitaire. Rommel's War is designed as a two-player game. However, to learn the game or by preference for Solitaire play, a solo rule sheet is provided to aid in Solitaire play. So for instance, Rommel's War, if played Solitaire, you play um, both sides, you know, we put the blocks, right, face up, um, as opposed to trying to hide them, right? So you have, if you want to play two player, you got a fog of war aspect. If you want to play solo, just place the box face up. But then you're at, you're rolling a die, and then it'll tell you kind of what happens. So, and now I'll go ahead and look at the little cheat sheet here. So you're gonna roll a die, very simple for each attack. On a six, the attack is canceled. On a one to five, there's gonna be, depending on the number of defending units, um, defender adds half of the die roll, defender adds a whole result of the die, Result the die plus roll the die again and add half the result rounding down. So definitely you're gonna have different result based on each one of the combats. I was reading something um, from I don't know if it was a play tester. Someone said, hey, the game changes then obviously significantly or uh, you know a good amount from the two player version. But hey, sometimes I kind of like that. So good to know that it does come with at least an aid to play solitaire. So not maybe not 100% solitaire rules, but you know, considering up a lot of games I just play, play both sides, something like this is definitely appreciated for us solo players. So, Rommel's War, and then actual player aid, covering combat, aircraft, forts, anti-tank, and then recon units. Very nice, okay. Let's look in here, and of course we have, it's a mounted map, we'll save the map for last, like we always do. Ooh, I love this, so 
taken out. Um, plastic Worthington has the basically a counter tray, this nice plastic tray with a cover. Comes right in the box. Always love that. Again, love that from them. And here, oh, I, this is, look at these beautiful blocks with the information actually printed right on right on the block here so very nice and of course nice you know it's a block but nice quality good heft but i love that so first of all it's not a bunch of stickers so i can get up and play faster but secondly just that sort of screen printed on the actual um, block looks really nice Additional units, oops, I don't drop it. My blocks, I think they're blocks. Very nice, and that's color on there. Looks good, I really lo I love that. It's like screen printed on there already. Absolutely fantastic choice there. And looks like we get the old six-sided die for the old solitaire play. Blocks here. Oh, and then we have our cards, which is easy open. Gotta love that. Always love that when publishers do that. So, and you know it's for each side, right? So, from the allies, and then from the axis here, and you can see they're nice screen printed. You maybe can see that, maybe you can't screen printed cards. So, very nice, high quality. Yep, you can definitely see the screen print there. We catch it just right. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. Nice high quality. Ooh, no effect. Oh yeah, so it's gonna be, you're gonna have random, right? So you're never gonna know. You're gonna get that additional move or attack, or it's gonna be no effect. So, and because you're just drawing, it's not like a hand of cards, it definitely is gonna be okay for solitaire because each turn you're gonna draw and, okay, so one additional move or at plus two, and looks like Rommel has more at this point, so he has a little bit more positive effect with cards, both stronger potentially, and then having more of the ones that add additional move or add to an attack. Very nice. Let's go ahead and look at this map though. Get this board set up here. And of course, again, nice thick mounted wrapped board. Absolutely fantastic. Let's get it set up here. All right. A little bit of back folding, see if she lays flat. Oh, beautiful. Yep, perfectly flat. Not quite 100% in the camera, so when I do my playthrough, and I'm guaranteed to do some playthroughs of this, um, I'll just set, I'll move the camera up a little bit so you guys can see all the way, but you can see right over here is this edge, and the other edge is right there, it's not too far away. Close a little bit for you guys, see a little closer. As usual, filming 4K. So if you want to pause and see something, you should get a nice, good, crisp image. There he is. Nice, clean, obviously. We're looking at, you know, Northern Africa here. Not a whole lot of super unique terrain. Sequence of play written on the board here, printed on the board. Axis force pool, allied force pool. Very nice. So this is let me get some units out here so again you know if you're playing two player you know you may have depending on where you're sitting okay you know do it like that so one guy can see the other guy can't right but play solo just put them out show them off be able to see all the beautiful counters follow that little guide here when you're rolling when you're attacking giving you some sort of okay little little chaos and a little one you know on the uh actual attacks, what's actually gonna happen. And along with these uh, very nice cards here. So, all right, that is Rommel's War from Derek Croxton and Worthington. Definitely excited to check this one out. Again, for watching this, um, within the day this is this video is published, or within about a week, about seven, six, seven days after, um, it's on Kickstarter, I'll have a link in the description, check it out. And otherwise, I'm going to be exploring this one, checking it out here, hopefully over the next week or so, hopefully before the Kickstarter ends, give you guys a more informed decision on, hey, is this something I'm interested in picking up? Is it worth picking up solitaire play? I'm definitely going to give you the scoop and give you my honest opinion on it. So thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, you're still watching, please, if you're not a subscriber, I'd really appreciate it. 
Also thumbs up the video and then just comment below. Let me know what you think about this game in my video. But until next time, everybody, later.